What's up friends, Dan Vega here, back with another tutorial. And today we're looking at a new feature that was added to Java 16, and that is the method to list on the stream interface. So not every feature in an upcoming release has to be this groundbreaking or revolutionary feature. I happen to be a big fan of features that simplify tasks or make my code more readable and concise. So prior to Java 16, if you wanted to take a collection, turn it into a stream, do some filtering by some type of predicate, and then return another list, you could, but the code was a little confusing and not very straightforward on what was happening there. Uh, with this new method, everything got simplified and cleaned up in my opinion. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at an example of how we might take a list do some filter, you know, turn it into a stream, do some filtering on it, and then return a list. We'll look at how we did that before Java 16 and how we can do it after Java 16. So I hope you're excited. Let's jump on in. All right, so here we are in IntelliJ. I'm using the Ultimate Edition. You can use the Community Edition or really any other ID that you want. Visual Studio Code will work, Eclipse, NetBeans, whatever. What we're doing here is pretty basic stuff today. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new project. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new Java project. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Java 17, which is the latest and greatest. I'm gonna click next. We're gonna create a project from a template using the command line template. And we're gonna call this, um, what do we wanna call this? Let's say um, stream to list. And we're gonna create this in the Java folder. And we're gonna start with the base package of dev.danvega. So let's go ahead and finish this. Users vega dev java stream to list looks good to me and let's go ahead and full screen this and let me just clear up this stuff so here we are this is just going to create a simple project structure for us with a main class here we are in our main class and i'm going to start with an example that doesn't use stream so let's think about this how we might have done this before uh, some of the things that we're gonna take advantage of today. So let's say that I wanted to create a list of languages, so programming languages. So I might start with the list interface here and uh, that would be a list of strings, we'll call this languages. And to create a list, um, I'm gonna use uh, the list.of method and this will allow me to just type in a bunch of strings. Uh, so we'll say Python, C++, we'll say C sharp, and we'll say JavaScript. So now we have a list of languages. So now what if we've been given the task to find all languages that start with Java? So now one thing I'll mention here is I actually turned off GitHub Copilot. If you haven't seen, I, I released a video on uh, GitHub Copilot, which if you start with some comments, it will actually try to figure out what you're trying to do and, and write lines of code or entire methods for you. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a comment in the description below. But I've turned that off so that we can write this ourselves without getting the, those hints. So the first thing I might do is create a new list. Um, this is gonna be a list of strings and I might call this Java languages. And this would just be a new array list. And from there, I wanna iterate over all of the languages. So we'll call this language in languages. And what I wanna say is if the language, so during each iteration, we're gonna look at each one of these. So each language, if the language dot starts with, and it starts with Java, so it's Java and JavaScript in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the Java languages. <clears throat> so I'll say Java languages dot add, and I'll add the language. Now, I sent this tweet out the other day. This is a good point, a uh, good time to remind you that uh, Java is to JavaScript as car is to carpet. Uh, just kind of pointing out that they don't have anything to do with each other, but we're calling this Java languages because they start with Java. So 
Once we have our list, we can go ahead and uh, system out print line these. So we'll say Java languages. I'm gonna use the uh, shortcut on the Mac here, Control Shift R, which will run, uh, build and run my program for me. And if you see down here, we have our list of Java and JavaScript. So that's one way that we can do it. Um, the next way is by using streams. So I wanna head over to some documentation and look at the stream interface. So here we are in the Java docs. Uh, we can see the stream interface. This is a sequence of elements supporting sequential and parallel aggregate operations. So the sequential and parallel part is important. You can do things sequentially, like I wanna do this. Uh, so in this example, we are going to filter something, then we're going to map, then we're gonna sum them up. You can also do parallel operations. So I wanna like do two things at the same time. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description below to the API docs here. This will give you a lot more information. I would take some time to go through this and just start to understand the API. This will give you kind of a good getting started. But let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, from our example here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's just comment this all out. I'm gonna keep that just so we have a reference to it. But let's go down here. <clears throat> And let's go ahead and stick with our same list of languages. So now a way that we can take advantage of streams is we could do something like this. I wanna create a list of strings. We'll call this Java languages again. So we could take our languages list and call a stream method on it. So now if we look at the list interface, we know that that extends the collection interface. So if we look at stream, stream is actually a method within the collections interface, and it allows us to return a stream here. So it just calls really stream support.stream uh, with this split orator, split orator and false as parallel by default. So that's important. So now what we can do is we can start to use some sequential operations on here. So one of those operations is filter, which takes a predicate. Um, so what this will allow us to do is, uh, let's go ahead and look at this. So stream filter takes a predicate. Uh, predicate is a functional interface, so it has a single method on the, uh, in there called test. So this evaluates uh, whether the predicate uh, on the given argument is true. So this allows us to, because it's a functional interface, we can pass a lambda expression. So what we can do is say language, and we can say uh, language dot starts with, and similar to like we did before, now we can say, hey, does that start with um, Java? So now finally what we wanna do with this is actually turn this, so eat, so again, it's going to filter over our collection. And what we wanna do is we wanna take this stream and turn it into a new list. And the way that we do that before, um, before the, the new method to list, uh, which we're gonna talk about soon, is you had to call a collect, um, you had to call collectors, so collect, and then you had to use collectors.toList. And this was a little confusing. Um, so this collect method, you can see, takes a collector, and that collector, in this instance, uh, we have a collectors.toList. Um, so it just wasn't as intuitive, but this will get the job done. So now, if we come back here and we say Java languages, hit save, uh, whoops. Hit save, run our program, and there's our Java and JavaScript. So now Java 16 is going to introduce a new method. So again, we talked about this earlier, but the new method is the to list. So let's take a look at that in the API doc. So here we are, um, the default. So we have a method here called to list, and again, that's going to return a list of T. So this just makes it much easier to go ahead and return a list. So now what we can do is we can just change this to, to list. 
And there's no need to call that collect method and then pass in a collectors. And so if we go ahead and run this, we'll get that same result. So this works uh, with our simple types. So we have our list of strings, but it's also going to work with more complex types. So let's take a look at what that might look like. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new Java class. I'm gonna call this developer. And I'm actually going to use a record and we'll just call string name and list of string languages. Let's go ahead and import that. And that should be all we need. So now back here, so again, we were able to use our simple type string there. Let's go ahead and create a list of developers. So we'll call developers, it's equal to same thing, list.of, and what I'll say is new developer, and list.of. All right, so let's go call this one Joe. And Andrew, these are my brother's names, if you're curious. And that should be all I need. So I'm just going to go ahead and update a few of these languages. So we'll say that Joe knows these and Andrew knows these. So now that I have a list of developers, I can say I want to create a new list. And actually, we can do this from the inside out. So let's say we call this Java, and I'm gonna say developers.stream, and again, we can call filter on it. This doesn't work with just that simple type. So now we have a developer, and we wanna see if the developer.languages.contains, and we'll say Java, And then at the end, we can call our to list method. And so that is going to return a list. So we're gonna get a hint here to create a local variable called Java, and which is a list of developer. So now I can come down here and just say us out Java. And if we go ahead and run this, we'll get our array of developers. So the first uh, the first element in there is Dan, the second element is Joe, and of course Andrew doesn't have anything that starts with Java, so Andrew is included in that collection. So kind of working with both simple types and complex type there. So again, this is not one of those groundbreaking features in Java that everybody's going to talk about. But for me, it's much more intuitive. When I look at this line of code, I can completely understand what is happening here. Before, when I'd see, you know, unless I knew what I was doing, collectors and then collectors to lists, like it was just kind of confusing. So really happy to see this, this method added here that, that allows us to just return a list because a lot of the times that's what I'm doing with the stream. I'm filtering, I'm mapping, I'm doing something, and then I'm creating a new list from that. So really helpful. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. And if you did find value in this video, please go ahead and leave me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And as always, friends, happy coding.